in pan data analysis it is important to uh, make a specification test uh, to know whether or not for example uh, fixed or random effect model is uh, appropriate so to do so uh, the first step is to uh, first of all uh, store our uh, estimation in, uh, in memory in data memory so the last model that we uh, have estimated is uh, a, our fixed uh, effect model. So we'll go on statistics, uh, longitudinal uh, post uh, estimation, post estimation. We click on post estimation, and we choose uh, specific. Uh, we choose. Uh, the option manage estimate result manage estimate result and then we click on store current estimate in memory so we call it uh, fixed because it's a fixed effect model and then we click on ok and you can see that our estimates have been stored as fixed our last estimate so we'll go uh, and also estimate uh, our longitudinal panel data uh, uh, random effect model. Random effect model. We, we estimate our model, and after that, we do the same thing as we did on our fixed effect model. We go on post estimation, and then we choose the current estimate in memory. So we call this time uh, random. Random. And then we click on OK. And you can see that the second estimate has been stored as random. So the step, the following steps is to estimate, uh, uh, to uh, test for a specification diagnostic uh, using for example Hausmann test in order to see uh, whether or not uh, fixed or random effect model is uh, appropriate so to do so we go uh, on statistics statistic uh, post estimation uh, then we choose uh, the option specification diagnostic we have Brecht and Pagan uh, LN test for random effect. We also have Hausmann specification test. So we choose this time uh, Hausmann specification test. Uh, consistent estimate, we choose uh, our fixed. We choose our fixed, we just uh, select fixed and efficient uh, consistent estimate is fit and uh, efficient estimate is uh, random so in this test while choosing this parameter it means that our null hypothesis is that a random effect model is appropriate so that's our null hypothesis uh, efficient estimate so uh, we click on OK and we can see uh, the result on, of our random uh, of our Hausmann um, test which show that our chi square is uh, 3.15 and our p value is uh, 0 0.36 that is uh, superior to a 5% or 10 or even 10% significant level which means that we cannot uh, reject our null hypothesis uh, which is a random effect is appropriate so we just uh, accept a null hypothesis meaning that a, a random effect model is appropriate so in our modeling 
uh, using panel data we found out that uh, using our data set we cannot uh, we can just uh, better do to estimate a random effect model that we have just show you how to estimate 